Greetings everyone, I am Rishabh Pugalia from XLX Training Solutions. In the next two minutes, I am going to show you a couple of tricks from Pivot Table. And this is especially for those professionals who are using Pivot Table but may not have seen this super, super trick. Now, to illustrate that point, I am going to take an example of a data which is roughly 60,000 lines. Now, here I have a company which sells uh, equipments, sporting equipments in terms of bikes, clothing components to the different customers which are based out of North America. So these are the customer names and I have particularly highlighted those headings which are relevant for our report. So for example, customer, the main business segment which has been subcategorized into category, the model number of the equipment, the color of the product, the sales date, the sales date and you'll see other items including order quantity and sales amount. Now let me make a quick pivot table before I show you the couple of tricks. Let me use control A to be able to choose the data and I'm going to insert tab clicking on pivot table. The box that comes up next on my screen simply is a confirmation of the selection and I press OK. Now once this pivot table is created let me activate one of my favorite settings which actually allows me to be flexible with both both the functionalities of Excel 2003 and 2007 with respect to pivot tables. So pivot table options, I go to display and here lies an option saying classic pivot table layout which will enable you to drag these fields, the fields which are on my right to the grid which is present on the left. Let me press OK. Now here it goes. Let me put the business segment on the row field. So these are the four business segments. Let me put category under them. So either I can put under the row fields in the same section, else I can put the category under row labels under this business segment. Now let me put order quantity in this area. This is what I refer as main action area. We can all, all mathematical numbers are presented in this main action area. Now I want some detailed report in terms of the yearly trends of sale. So I'm going to put sales date, sales date on top of this. Now this is what this is column label or column field in case I put that in column label is this the same thing that you're going to get. Now look these are individual dates these are not of my help because I want a summary report. So I right click on any date mind you right click on any date and you'll get to see something called grouping. Once I go to grouping you'll be amazed that Excel pivot table has this ability to group these numerous dates into years or months or both. Let me pick up only years as of now. Oh, I have year wise, product category wise, the quantity that I have been selling over the past couple of years. Now this is not the main trick. The main trick is yet to arrive. Let me put customer under page field. Now this page field is the same as report filter. So instead of putting the customer under page fields, I could have put customer under report filter. Now just be careful about this name report filter. There's something unique about this name report filter. Why? Because at the outset it appears that I can choose a one client and the result is going to be based on that. But wait, this is not my target. My target is to create the sheets, individual sheets based on individual customers and each sheet should represent the data of that individual customer. Now if there are 600 plus customers, can you imagine how much time that is going to take to create those sheets, to name those sheets and to copy and paste the data? From here on you will never spend more than a minute on such data. Here's how, let's go to options, that's the pivot table option within which let's click on this small drop down. Please note, I'm not clicking on the word options. If I click on the word options, this dialog box that comes up is of no help to me right now. Let me click on the small drop down. Now wait, there's a super option that lies underneath this sub option called show report filter pages. Now what is report filter? Report filter is where I have given customer. So if I substitute report filter with customer, how, how does it, how's it being read? Show customer pages. As I press on this option, it says show report filter pages based on the customer. Now let me press the magic button OK. You would have never imagined what is going to come up next. Hmm? No, my computer is not hung. This is 
individual sheets being created for each and every customer and each sheet the sheet tab is named based on the customer and each sheet represent the data only of that customer so while i'm completing my sentence 600 plus sheets are being created on your pivot table imagine the application if you wanted to create sheets based on vendor based on products based on customer based on region based on the different sections of the taxes that are being deducted as you go ahead and make the transactions the applications are immense so do go over this video once or twice make sure you know how to use this particular option just make sure that before you activate the option the report filter pages must have some heading based on which excel knows how to create the different sheets so let me give some extra time and by the end of few seconds you'll see the entire set of reports being created i'm being patient in real life i would have gone and grabbed a cup of tea and while i return as soon as i return you'll notice the different sheets that are being created and each sheet each sheet named accordingly as i expected and each sheet pertains to the data only of that customer now isn't that wonderful so quickly let me just recapitulate what i did i must activate report filter it must have something here based on customer or maybe the product name and once you have had that in place go to option click on this drop down and you must click on this option so if you liked it do share this video with everyone who you think will find this useful Thank you signing off this is Rishabh Pugalia from Excel Next Training Solutions